my history. <laughs> wow, that's so nice. I am a part of history. <laughs> So, American Laser Games decided that they were not satisfied having taken over the two most popular genres of uh, Western and Noir. They moved into sci-fi for their third video game. Wow, you can see the budget in every shot. <laughs> yeah, and it's big. Realistically, this probably had a higher budget than Star Wars. I mean, look at her outfit. It's clearly totally not made from a pink Beth comforter. I think she also had, like, a glow <laughs> stick in her hair. But, like, a space glow stick. Oh! Look at these graphics! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Meet George Jetson! <laughs> the, you know, the nice thing about space pirates compared to Star Wars is that people don't come up to me and I have to pretend to know what they're talking about. <laughs> sure. Howdy, space stranger! <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you can see that the they really liked the Prospector character from Mad Dog McCree, <laughs> so they brought him back to play a new role here. He should have been like a sexy dame in Wusha Johnny Rock. <laughs> Pay no attention to this lovely but pitiful creature. Any attempt to come to her aid will be met with certain exterminator. You see this black hole? <laughs> he's got a straight up black hole in his eye. I think he's a future football player. <laughs> well, he was a linebacker that turned to crime. <laughs> this entire conflict started because of the XFL. <laughs> yeah, he kept wanting to play, but they canceled the XFL, so he turned to a life of crime. It's quite tragic, really. He actually lost his eye and it turned into a black hole in the XFL. That was like his gimmick. <laughs> yeah, Parallax is just the name of like an American gladiator that joined or something. <laughs> <laughs> I've been lost for years on different worlds throughout the solar system. Wow, you mean this all isn't on Earth? <laughs> also, yeah, this is like a way like headier plot than any of the games they've done so far. <laughs> like, there's just a lot of setup needed. <laughs> also, be mutant life forms, sorcerers, and mystics with their own bag of tricks. They will do all in their power to keep you. You'll have to shoot them. <laughs> the greatest nemesis of them all, Captain Talon. Oh, I thought it was gonna be time. Can do it. You and me. I wish this game got like a half-assed platformer on the Super Nintendo like Dragon's Lair and like Space Ace did. <laughs> oh hell yeah. What I need is a quick hand. I don't know why. Like these characters are just as remember uh, memorable as Dirk the Dashing. Ranger. Who? Or the guy from Space Ace. Pirates are on to the teeth. <laughs> yeah, his name is Space Ace, you dolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops. Space asexual. <laughs> anyway, they've added one of these sections in that's like the shooting galley, like when he throws bottles at you. Except now it's just like asteroids <laughs> that go way too fast for you to be able to follow. Oh, oh my god! That's Wait, it! Was that you dying? The edible kicked in. No. <laughs> I... Yeah, no, that was just a skeleton that showed up. Sorry, I just love that they put these, like, rectangular pirate signs on everything to make sure you know you're in pirate territory. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's like you... Like, the pirates are all taggers. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, how do you know that it's... Again, like you said, how do you know it's a pirate ship, right? It might be a normal ship. I don't get why you couldn't just shoot that pirate. Like, you know he's a pirate. It's not like, oh, well, maybe this guy's just, like, a, a friendly dude. <laughs> well, maybe some of these pirates are pacifists. <laughs> yeah, but maybe there's a nice pirate. Have you ever thought about that? Well, they all deserve death. <laughs> oh, okay. Calm down there, King George. <laughs> Also, I really love the weird-ass, like, voice modulation they've done on all of the innocents here. Yeah. Like, oh, don't worry, they're really aliens, oh! I promise! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
every effect in this is so cool. <laughs> Wait, I saw the mattress! <laughs> no, you didn't. No, no, you didn't. You're good. Oh, I love the fact that he almost it was slipped and ate shit right there. <laughs> That's how they tricked you, right? It's like, it looks like he ate shit, but actually he got shot. Oh, I thought you were, like, turning him into a baby or something. <laughs> <laughs> he ended up with, like, a de-age ray. So, are those subtitles for real, or did you just take a wild guess at him saying Spepathor? I'm trying so hard to understand <laughs> what these people are saying. They put so much stupid jargon in this game for no reason. Shoot the blue light. So before you shoot the blue light, you have to shoot them both immediately, otherwise both of them will kill you. I love how, like, unexcited these children are. Yeah, and also... Oh, okay, someone is rescuing the guy on the right. I was gonna say, if they all just run out and leave him there... I mean, okay. Okay, and that is also a shot we definitely have never seen before. <laughs> I just love that they're in, like, this boiler room or whatever, and they're like, Wait, this doesn't look space piratey enough. Quick, let's wrap bandages around the handrails? <laughs> That's how you know it's a fixer-upper. You know what's pirate stuff? Moss. <laughs> Look, pirates love a project. They're getting a lot of use out of these mystery science theater sliding doors. <laughs> yeah. I think you mean space gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, they still use regular gold. The gold standard is still r real. Uh, this feels like you're n getting into a, like a fight at a Universal stunt show. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. This definitely feels set up like every sort of like um, Wild West shootout, like any of those recreational areas. Yeah, like we're gonna like... Do you see, like, the Miami Vice people come out, or, like, for some reason, uh, there's still a Waterworld show or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta feel like being the first guy who shot in one of these scenes must suck, because you just need to be on the floor for, like, hours. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that guy falling on the second guy, the second guy will still shoot you if you don't shoot him. <laughs> nice work, Ranger. I would love to make one of these games, but instead of... But... Oh, oh god. <laughs> but all of, like, the people popping up are, like, the innocent civilians who just yell shit at you. <laughs> yeah, there's no villains. <laughs> How did you dodge that? You totally got shot there, Chorps. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know which video uh, clips are actually us getting killed or not. I feel like a lot of those clips uh, keep going for a bit too long before you actually register as, ha as having gotten shot. Yeah. We know talented pirates hold the star splitter. The crystals, we're not sure. There will be mutants. Trickster. <laughs> mint guy. <laughs> I must tell you the, the two types of people, mutants and trickster. <laughs> I really thought saving this lady would be kind of like the goal of the game, but I guess we still got to get those crystals. <laughs> yeah, now th then we got to shoot like a, a matter destroyer cannon at the pirates. Good luck, Ranger. She looks like the annoying like friend from Full House. <laughs> Great. I mean, after Full House, you know, it's only downhill from there. That's how they ended up here. Anyways, yeah, so now we have to go to these four different worlds to be able to find the crystals and the activation sequence for oh. the, um, for the Star Splitter cannon. Oh my god. <laughs> pirate phased out of existence. Did you also see the one that crawled backwards to make sure they were out of frame? <laughs> I mean, so like, he could do the randomization. Oh, uh, that was his last, like, moments of life. 
It's like, I don't want to be seen like this. Anyways, here's a little Mad Max for you. <laughs> Oh, that's why they wear so much armor. Yeah. Menopots, we have a customer. For the sand, Mr. Pat? Or could it be? In search of a crystal. With only a pistol. Then he's mad, Madam Pots. No, that's me. So, <laughs> you have to shoot her specifically in the hand. <laughs> or otherwise, she just, like, sh shoots you with rings. Energy level is getting critical. What if you just shoot her... Before that happens. We have a customer. Um, it, like anywhere but the hand? Yeah, just like right now. Uh, nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, nothing happens. It skips the cutscene. <laughs> and we would never want to do that. <laughs> also, it doesn't even, like, swap to a shot of her being like, Damn, you did good. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, so, um... <laughs> The game does this, I think, after every world, is they just, like, have a little, like, fun shooting gallery you can do. Uh, I have no idea what they're doing with these, um, transitions either. So, was that good? Yes, that was good. <laughs> yeah, it's really confusing when the big symbols of the game are, like, skulls and skeletons. Yeah? What is this? What? Ranger, Star Ranger. I accidentally shot an innocent. Oh. He didn't say anything, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I should probably shoot him, but no. He wasn't yelling at me to, like, uh, quick, you gotta eat the special plants. <laughs> yeah, see, like, that guy, he just pops up and then someone pulls him back down. I, how am I supposed to know he's an innocent? Brother, go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> These are clues on how to defeat the bosses. Behind Dragon's team. It's the crystal you see. Or here. See, you just have to shoot him three times, and then you just let him live. Then he's done. If you shoot him any more or any less, he just kills you. You must be out of your skull hunting talent. This is the worst episode of Sesame Street I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now shoot skulls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're not moving, so they're easy targets for you. Like, it almost feels like they had too many ideas, and then just kind of, like, threw them all in here in a way that's, like, incomprehensible. I feel like after this, American Laser Games must have just been like, oh, we gotta stick to one thing. <laughs> yeah, we can't keep doing this. Is Mad Dog 2 after this? Um, I believe so, yes. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we gotta go back to our roots. <laughs> yeah, we we've clearly gone too far. Star Ranger, Felina's beauty is just in disguise. Everything she says is a pack of lies. <laughs> She's actually okay. ugly as hell, bro. <laughs> She's like a two. You might think she's a dime, but she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Again, they just had so many ideas that they all packed in here. I am Belina, and your friend. Oh, okay. I believe this. Then left for your journey's end. <laughs> no, you shouldn't believe it. Be foolish. Otherwise, you couldn't get this crystal. Oh, that's all? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Since you well, I mean, not exactly. Now we have to shoot a bunch of balls that she throws. <laughs> oh, wow, you got one. Yeah, yeah they look. just slowed it down by about half speed, so you actually have a chance. Yeah, they chopped and yeah. screwed that target for you. <laughs> Try it. Yeah, they just cut it off. They're like, okay, we get it, dude. Ranger, space <laughs> oh my god, nice. it, it was my space bomb. Oh, thank god, something normal again, like space pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not whatever the hell else was going on. I feel like they really, like, used a laser to shoot themselves in a the foot with this, because, like, they could have done a pirate's FMV game. 
Yeah, but they were like, but what if they were space pirates? Well, you know, that's the thing, like, uh, filming on the ocean. Now, that's very expensive. Filming in space, though, that's like five bucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they could just go to like anywhere for like, oh, let's go to a place with canyons. If they did like a pirate thing, they'd have to like go to a beach or something. Mm-hmm. Right, or at least green screen an ocean. A guy throws a bottle of grog and tells you to shoot it. <laughs> so now that we have all the crystals, we've yeah. practiced shooting with the star splitter cannon. This looks like a fucking click and play game. Yeah. Also, so the the bullet has like a delay to it. It has to hit the it has to hit the location you were pointing at first. So you have to sort of track where the um where the ship's going to end up. You have to shoot a little ahead of it. That sounds insane with like an actual light gun. Yeah. Yeah. It's not it's not good. <laughs> We just shoot him into place. A point and shoot adventure game. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. So that's what we have to follow. So you know how we were practicing on really slow um, ships before this. Now they're fucking fast as shit, and they still look just as good as they did before. Also, there's a delay to being able to shoot. You can't just shoot rapidly. I, I'm surprised you got this close to a 1cc, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, what? It, it's so precise. <laughs> it's such bullshit. Yeah, just imagine doing this with an actual light gun. That is completely yeah. impossible. Like, once you know where they're going to end up, yes, you can kill them, but, like, what the fuck? <laughs> also, I talked about this previously, how, like, every game is going to be compared to Mad Dog McCree from now on. Um, the tagline for this game is just, if you thought Mad Dog McCree was an adventure, wait until you experience Space Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I guess. For a second, I thought one of the celebrating people was Patton Oswalt in a blonde wig. <laughs> You are about to go where no man has gone before, and live. <laughs> At the end, you will have the robotic tracker. Use it to take out talent. Who is this man? Right, now we're in our final face-off. <laughs> Just like with Mad Dog McCree, our last fight is a one-on-one -on -one against him. Ow! <laughs> our robotic tracker tells us where to shoot. <laughs> you know, at least it gives us that. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, it tells you exactly where to shoot. That was just like a mini cannon. That was his hand that fell off. Yeah, yeah, that's... We had to that, shoot it again. That honestly really rules that you have to shoot his hand again. Yeah, but yeah. also kind of surprising that they actually give it to you like that. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, his head goes on fire. Uh, there was one before that where he pulls out a stick of dynamite, and you have to shoot it before he throws it, otherwise you're dead. And the hitbox is very bad for that. <laughs> and they all throw their glasses in the air and you have to shoot those too. <laughs> <laughs> God, that would be so good. But Oh my god, he's a ghost! <laughs> I, I, I think <laughs> Now we'll have to kill a space ghost. Oh my god. But yeah, that was Space Pirates. It just feels like for these types of games, it is overstuffed with content. I should I take advice from the the bad guy? <laughs> yeah, should I take advice from the guy with a two meter cot piece? This is like Biff <laughs> from Back to the Future telling me to go to the library. I mean, take advice from the guy who astral projected his soul out of his body after death. <laughs> yeah, I can do that with weed, no problem. Yeah, okay. 